by rubbing with oxy dry and uh, I've got a small condo here polyester carpet it's very deteriorated in the traffic lanes just turned into fur over here for example so it's, it's pretty deteriorated uh, it's a rental the lady's actually moving out of here I, I assume it was a, a f furnished rental <coughs> which is not unusual on this particular building downtown it's kind of at a uh, right at the lake and uh, it's kind of like a resort I guess you could say uh, so they do uh, seasonal rentals typically here so she'll be moving out for the summer and they'll be renting it out uh, to uh, vacationers and getting way more money <laughs> um, anyway I give it a clean I get I did I just ouch, ooh. oh <laughs> hit my elbow there um, yeah I get a good vacuuming with the uh, Hoover hush tone and uh, I've got a uh, hogshair fiber pad it really needs a good scrub on this uh, it works the hogshair works very well on the polyesters and I do actually have a little bit of um, um, revive in here as well probably about an ounce added to my normal mix of nanomax which is at two ounces per gallon and already I can see it's it's really looking good already so um, I did spray right in this area here with my trigger sprayer some suspend and that really does help to cut through the oils polyester has a, a it likes oil it absorbs oil quite readily <coughs> and I do find that the hogs hair fiber pad works exceptionally well on uh, polyester fibers usually and then you combine that with a really good quality cleaning product and uh, you can clean them pretty darn well actually now I'm going to be just kind of going around the area rug and I'm going to do the area rug I get into this this is actually there's like four buildings in this complex and I get in here fairly often actually this whole this is um in a, right in an area right near what, what's called the say the the dolphins um in downtown Kelowna we're right near city park very nice area actually very high-end area and there's uh, some high-rise buildings down here new ones that are uh, with the well, I'm not sure how many floors there are. They're pretty, pretty tall. The tallest buildings in Kelowna now, I guess. <coughs> Doesn't look like much traffic has gone on over here, and the carpet looks pretty good. There was a table here which uh, they took outside. left me here actually I didn't find any I only found a couple of little spots on this uh, rug so it's been getting well cared for I guess so I get a little little bedroom over here I have four jobs today this is the first one I got here about nine o'clock um, and um, so uh, typically on the days like this um, all the jobs I'm doing today will be about this size although I know the third one is definitely larger because I've been there before but um, I'm, I'm usually in and out within about two hours on uh, on this kind of uh, uh, job, these kind of jobs, and so I'm actually quite comfortable doing four jobs, four decent sized jobs a day, average about two hours. So uh, between the 
the, the actual carpet cleaning I'm doing and then the driving between the jobs. Usually I'm home by about five or so. Not a bad day really. And I'm averaging three or four hundred dollars a job. Usually with this sort of day anyway. And then there's other jobs where I go out in one day and just do one job and I make, you know, twelve or fifteen hundred dollars because it's a, such a large job. But these are just sort of average jobs for me <coughs> today. See, there's no light in this room. I mean, there's those lights, I guess, but they wouldn't really do much, I don't think, even if they were on. So that's why the headlight, the uh, LED light is such a good thing to have on your machine. And even if you're uh, using a rotary and you don't, uh, you prefer to shower, uh, to um, spray, just putting a tank on just to mount a light is a good idea or even just put a bracket on your handle and put it there but one of the other advantages of having a tank on your machine even if you don't shower feed is you can carry stuff in it a couple of spotter bottles and things like that I mean I actually carry stuff in there anyway even though I do shower feed so we'll come back and do the entire carpet in a minute with the uh, Iron Man pad in this case I'll be using. <coughs> I what? I'm only going seven minutes already? Huh. Boy, I'm moving fast here. You know, I, uh, I saw a comment on one of my uh, videos recently. Somebody was talking about, you know, was I going too fast to actually absorb and, um, you know, remove the soil. That was on a, that um, video where I was talking about how many square feet I was doing with my uh, commercial, my 300 RPM machine. Uh, you know, here's the thing. When you're cleaning with this, with the rotary, Assuming you're using a quality cleaning product, when you go over the carpet, most of the soil will be removed within a split second. It's just the way it works. You can go back and forth over the carpet like I'm doing right here. This is really worn, so I'm doing an extra couple of passes. I'm not seeing any real difference to the appearance of the carpet. But the, um, uh, um, and then uh, uh, a few videos later, I was doing another commercial job the um, one where I've uh, been there a few times and I've got a whole series of that building um, in a on my uh, YouTube channel there uh, I've got it categorized and I showed that I went over this one really bad area lobby area and then I came back uh, and I used an Iron Man pad and I showed how incredibly black the pad had gotten and then I came back a little bit later about 20 minutes or so later and I went over it with another pad and virtually nothing came off that carpet the second time I went over it with another pad which was proof that it doesn't take much as as long as you're using a you know a really good quality cleaning product and you understand how you're what you're what you're doing and you're operating the machine correctly the uh, results are almost instantaneous 
and and that carpet as I pointed out in the video um, stayed clean between cleanings it just it just it was doing way better than I think the fellow that actually commented was a steam cleaner <coughs> and uh, said something about that and and the thing is that that particular carpet had been getting cleaned and maintained according to the manufacturer's recommendations with steam cleaning and it was in such terrible shape that they were ready to throw it away to chuck the carpet and replace it within about three years or so hang on a sec <coughs> pardon me <coughs> so the point is is and, I, and as i pointed out in that video is the answer to getting a carpet cleaned isn't brute force it's understanding how to get the dirt out of the carpet without washing dirt into the carpet. I can remember to do that area rug, don't I? <laughs> well, almost forgot. Hang on. <coughs> Suddenly have a dry throat. <coughs> so, anyway, here I am. <laughs> you know, I, I, I haven't had somebody come on and and say, say things like that to, on my videos for a while, but... Uh, Anyway, it, it just, it's kind of funny, you know, I, I, I have hundreds and hundreds of videos showing how incredibly well this works, and then somebody comes on there and says, oh, well, it's not working properly. Well, I've been doing this for 30 years with this methodology, and prior to that, used every thing, single method there is. I, I do think I know a little bit about what I'm doing. But uh, that's fine. I'll continue doing what I'm doing and continuing, continue to show how incredibly effectively this works. And uh, and that's all I can do. <laughs> This carpet is cleaning very well. It's really looking good. Other than the wear, which I can't undo. I'm able to move pretty darn fast on this carpet. It's responding so well. really beat down over here too.
Okay, let's go take a look at that area rug. Chair's not very heavy. Give it a bit of a spray with the suspend. I will put a fiber pad on there. It'll just take an extra minute or two. Not a big deal. Pad's not that dirty. <clears throat> this is a elephant area rug, by the way. Showing a little bit of wear right in front of the couch here, but otherwise not bad. And we'll do the B side. Yeah, that's uh, brightening up. A little bit of wear going on over on the side over here because I guess they tend to step on there as they're going back and forth to the deck. But not bad. Okay, let's uh, head over this way. <coughs> we'll head over toward the uh, kitchen area. Okay. I'll take a look. I don't expect to be much on the B side of the pad. But we'll take a look anyway. No, no, not too much. Weight's not so great in here. And there's the other side. Definitely more. So. That would have come off of there mostly, I think. Okay, we'll let you go. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.